Grassy to say it goes there would be the understatement of the century. From pedophiles to drug use to self mutilation to school shootings, there are very few topics that this show has not covered over the years. But today's video is dedicated to the OG New Generation cast. It's no secret the show has spawned major celebs like Drake and Nina Dobrev, so we thought we would take a minute to do some investigating on where the rest of the cast is now. So let's begin with the show's once awkwardly tiny star turned hot blonde, Emma Nelson, aka Miriam McDonald. After a casual 10 years on the show, Miriam took a couple of years off before returning to the small screen. Since then, she's landed a few minor roles, including a guest spot on the wildly popular BBC show Orphan Black. Outside of acting in her spare time, Miriam enjoys hanging out with her really attractive boyfriend, posting inspirational quotes, and posting hashtag TBT pictures of her and Cassie Steele. Speaking of Cassie Steele, next up we have Emma's partner in crime, the rebellious G-string wearing Manny Santos. So, what is Cassie doing now, you might ask? Well, she saw a bit of success as the starring role on the short-lived series The LA Complex on The CW, but after its cancellation, she has been keeping really busy focusing on her music career, most recently her new EP titled Patterns. Now, let's have a brief moment of silence because we are still not over JT York's tragic and untimely death. <laughs> But flash forward to now, Ryan Cooley is doing just fine, and while he has done a bit of acting since his character's demise, his main focus is his job at a tech startup called Touch Bistro. Now, as for JT's partner in crime, you know, the nerdy yet charming Toby Isaacs, aka Jake Goldsby, who once used his computer hacking skills to save Emma from a gross pedophile who befriended her online. Well, alas, Goldsby has since retired from acting and now works as a web editor and writer for the sports news website, The Score. And then, of course, there's our favorite sensitive bad boy, Sean Cameron. Who could forget the wife-beater-wearing, rule-breaking, emotionally conflicted boy who stole Emma's heart and took her on her first date ever? But anyway, fast forward to now, Daniel Clark has since departed from his acting career and now enjoys the simpler things in life. According to his Instagram feed, the Degrassi alum has been living it up in NYC, getting in touch with his inner journalist, working as a producer and news correspondent for Fusion, a new cable channel launched by ABC News and Univision. Now, to be honest, I don't really think we need to tell you where Drake, you know, Aubrey Graham is right now. Started from the bottom, now we're here. I think it's safe to say that no one is ever going to let Drake live down his Degrassi past, but we should mention that not even Drake has forgotten his Degrassi roots. Here he is doing the wheelchair Jimmy dance. <laughs> Now, before we update you on good old Ashley Kerwin, aka Melissa McIntyre, we just need to go ahead and share this picture she tweeted a few weeks ago. Yeah, that happened. Anyway, aside from getting nostalgic about her fictional relationship with Aubrey Graham, Melissa has actually retired from acting altogether, was pretty much MIA until she resurfaced in 2012 as a harmony singer in a band called Fortune. Shane Kippel, or should I say, Spinner also ditched his acting passions for the art of music. Shane is currently the drummer of the Toronto-based band called Dear Love, and he pretty much looks exactly the same. And then, of course, there's Lauren Collins, aka Paige Michaelchuk. Since her days on Degrassi, Lauren has kept up on her camera appearances. Most recently, she took over as the host of a talk show titled One Girl, Five Gays, and has also made numerous appearances on the Nick Kroll sketch comedy series, Kroll Show. And why yes, this is her making a cameo in a Degrassi parody by YouTuber Shane Dawson back in 2010. Oh, and P.S. She is also still super close with Adamo Ruggiero and Stacey Farber, aka Marco and Ellie, which we absolutely love. Adamo, or should we say Marco Del Rossi, hasn't said goodbye to the spotlight just yet. He spent four years hosting the Canadian reality show The Next Star and continues to do a bit of theater work. 
In his spare time, he quotes the queen, Madonna, listens to Shania Twain, and likes hanging out with his bestie, Lauren Collins. Meanwhile, Stacey Farber, aka Ellie, still makes the occasional appearance on our TV screen. But for the most part, she's spending her time working as the executive editor for a scarf company called Lilogi. P.S. Did I mention that she graduated from Parsons? Cause it's kind of a big deal. Jake Epstein, AKA Craig, might not be on the small screen anymore, but he is tearing it up in musical theater and even on Broadway. And most recently, he starred in a short film called Jesse that won a contest on CBC television in Canada. Next up, we've got Terry, who left the show after her abusive boyfriend put her in a coma, NPD. Since her days as Terry, Christina Schmidt did a bit of plus size modeling, but has since retired from the spotlight and actually recently got married. Congratulations. So, how do we know all of this, you might ask? Oh, well, don't worry. Her and Andrea Lewis, aka Hazel, are still BFFs. Um, I am going to a bridal shower for one of my great friends, Christina Schmidt, who I did Degrassi with and I've known her since I was like 14 or 15 years old and I just love and adore her. Now for the final few. Liberty Van Zant, aka Sarah Barable Tishauer, decided to say peace out to acting and attended Concordia University and now currently works as a freelance communications consultant and media content developer. Nina Dobrev might not technically have been one of the show's real OGs, but as you probably remember, she joined the cast as teen mom Mia for a few epic seasons back in 2006. That is, before she got cast as Elena Gilbert and took her acting talents mainstream to become the star of The Vampire Diaries. But before we move on, who could ever forget her first Degrassi cheer audition? Gotta eat you. We're nasty. We're sassy. Cause baby, we're Degrassi. Go Degrassi! Speaking of CW stars, Darcy, AKA Sinead Grimes, also made the jump to American TV, starring as Annie Wilson in the reboot of 90210. The show might be over, but Grimes continues to act and has also tied the knot with longtime boyfriend Josh Beach, and the two have a blog together called Two Halves Blog. And guys, that's pretty much it for our OG Degrassi faves. Were you surprised by any of these updates? And if you have anything else to add, we would love to hear from you, so let us know what we missed. Leave a comment below and also let us know who your favorite Degrassi character of all time is. I know it's really tough, but you gotta fill us in. And click right over here to get another Where Are They Now? It's all about the cast of Wizards of Waverly Place. I'm your girl Jocelyn Davis. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.